this is our starting folder you find that in this folder we actually need only the final and the operation file and the two written chickdeng and cholera we are using a function called shell written initially by mr michael hayes which we are adapting here you'll find that throughout your programming career there are a lot of codes that have already been written somewhere so there's no need to go and reinvent the wheel you must learn to readapt uh, that we call reusing codes fragments segments of codes to shoot your purpose so this one is creating a directory listing so that we can situate relative to our file for processing the one that you find open uh, operation file all the files created or paste in that folder we need to be able to locate them precisely that is their directory and their name so this functions dynamically uh, locate these files there are three functions show file list show folder list and other function like display sort that is going to cycle through the subfolders starting by this folder uh, directory puff and is going to loop as you can see here it is going to loop and find all the files in the subfolders and folders so that when we need to access the individual files we can just go through this this list and and take it from the column a n o a o the name the location So here we are going to go on slowly just for you to see the processing you have here the font color index that we change to gray now this is the original function it's nothing modified here just showing how it works how it is implemented in real situation I think that it's important for students to be able to see how a function actually give the result understanding through visual aids. So here we can see that the function has some up all the files in this directory and it's starting to search through the other directories So in our file we are going each time that we need to have an updated view of the file listing we'll just run the shell function and we will it will just refresh the list for us this application uh, is not like a, a fully fledged database application so that the data files are stored in excel files itself so that when we pull this data from them we need to know, know the, lo the location so now we are in show folder list you can find that we are in folder 2 the folder spec array and we are just 
going through the folder to doing the file listing for this folder. You can find that the naming of these files also have been done automatically. This will be essential for the further processing. M stands for mailing, F for fax. Each one has got a different format. This is not a very big function. I think it's quite easy to follow. You can always post uh, queries later on for specific explanation. I think it's quite straightforward. What maybe it reaches maybe the create object and the calling the date loss modified date loss accessed this kind of script this information and uh, information on these things is easily available on forums for excel vba i think So we are moving until the last folder. So we are here on, on folder on line forty. This is the last, oh. and the R value is forty-seven, and this is summing this range 40 to 47 and we can find here this value so we are now selecting the summary sheet we are clearing the previous constraints since we are uh, using this function anytime that we need a refresh content so we have to clear any previous data we are copying this data and pasting them in the summary sheet using basic uh, excel command like select range active sheet the sheet uh, being operational and pasting using the auto fit content to adjust the column size here we are using the delete function Note that we have selected the full column, so it is deleting all the data to the last row of Excel. And we are using the sort function built in Excel, VBA sort, the key one, the ordering, the arguments, I think it's available easily on forums. And now we are displaying
here again we are clearing previous data in fact we we should have cleared that before doing the processing it doesn't really matter so it is using the uh, the different columns to paste i'm just showing here uh, the different columns We have adjusted the size for it not to be too big. This is an easy way to select, to adjust multiple columns, selecting all and uh, selecting one and adjusting the size, all will follow f with the same sizing. Maybe later we should get a tutorial on the shortcuts in Excel to ease up matter. We are actually using the F8 key. This is called stepping mode when we are debugging all id you have an interface for these kind of things it's very easy to use to be able to spot which part of the code is going wrong you have the watch window that you can add expression for it to break under specific situation conditions maybe later in another video we are going to go through this but i found some tutorial on the net under this so there's no need to duplicate things i just try to add some videos that i myself have not found around so that the simple things uh, I won't be going through this is Windows 7 that has a function to adjust the resolution I use a two screen uh, one rotated 90 degrees for reading purposes you might have noted it's quite practical to have one screen vertical and one horizontal and you use the vertical one in full screen for reading one full page at a time it's very practical so let's return here where it is just cycling through and giving the size you might realize that we might not anyone won't be needing all this data but this is a function that is as it is on the net and i'm just going through it i've not cut these things out but you can just cut what you need precisely and don't need to add all 